Hi, it's Enrique from Molanist VR. Today I'm going to show you our video stitching software, Molanist 360 VR video stitching. Let's do a quick demo. I'm going to open some files here. Well, I have these videos, I'm going to turn them into one 360 video. These videos were captured using our own camera rig. Um, we also have a software to copy files from the GoPro to the hard disk. I use that, so I'm ready. Now let's do some synchronization. We use sound synchronization. I started all the cameras manually, so the videos don't start at the same time. So here, I'm just going to sync them using sound. So the software is going to look for claps in the videos. So here it found the right synchronization points. Now I'm ready to do some calibration. Calibration is the process you need to run to align all the videos together and create one 360 video. You could do it using many frames or you could use just one keyframe. Here I'm going to use a keyframe. I'm not using frame one because I'm in the shot so I'm using a frame at a later point in time. So now the system found a right calibration with a 2.5 error. That's pretty low. Now let's check the preview. The preview is shown at synchronization time. I'm going to change it. I want to see it at calibration time because I don't want to be in the shot. It looks good. Automatic calibration using one frame. The horizon is not perfect, so let's do some calibration using a template. I'm going to open a template. I created this template using our image stitching software. I'm going to talk about templates later. For now, let's calibrate using a template. Templates are used to improve the quality of the stitching. As you can see, it looks better because I arranged a lot of things. The horizon is better. I deleted some control points that were bad. So you do all that with our image stitching software. So now I'm ready to render this video. I'm going to render the video in my demo folder. Let's change the name. Okay. I'm only going to render a couple of seconds around the calibration time. It's just a quick demo. I'm going to do it at 1080. So now let's render. It's processing all frames and then it's encoding the video. It's ready. Let's see. Looks good. Okay, now let's talk about the image stitching software and templates. This is the image stitching software and template creator. I'm going to open the project I use to create our template for video stitching. This is the software you use to create your 360 panoramas or your templates for a video stitching. Here I have the calibration frame. The video stitching software generate those images for me. The basic workflow here is load your images, get your control points, optimize the alignment, get your preview, and then play with that to get the panorama that you want.
let's see some contour points. Contour points are the common points between two images. We use this as an input for the calibration model. So if you want to improve your stitching quality, you need to improve the quality of your contour points. Here I'm looking at images with the highest stitching error because I want to see if I could improve the control points. Here I could add manual control points, delete wrong control points, and optimize points. Everything to improve the stitching quality. Let's check the preview. This is an interactive preview. So I'm able to rearrange the panorama the way I want it. If the horizon is not perfect, this is the place where I fix it. When I'm done, I render the panorama. What's important here is that I, I'm able to save these settings as a template. So this panorama will be a template. And I'm going to use that template, that calibration file, with my video stitching software. So if I bring that template here, I will have the same output. It will look the same. This is the way you calibrate using a template. We allow users to use more than one template. This is really important if you move your camera around. You need more than one template. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. If you want to try our software, please go to molanisvr.com. Thank you.